Moving into southern Wisconsin right now. It's the rain and it's going to impact your commute. We're going to track those showers in your first one forecast. And what happened during the shooting of a federal officer in Racine? Thanks for joining us, everyone, on a Thursday morning. This is News 3 Now This Morning. I'm Chris Stanford. Thanks for waking up with us, everybody. I'm Leah Linshine. You might be waking up to the sound of rain, too, on our Thursday, and it might be sticking around for a while. Chris Reese is going to time it out for us in your certified most accurate forecast. Hey, Chris. We told you about this rain starting on Monday, and now it's Thursday, and it's moving in right on cue when we expected it to do so. I've been tracking these showers all the way from the Tennessee Valley, now working their way into parts of northern Illinois and southern Wisconsin. So far this morning, a lot of the heaviest rain has been further towards the south and east. You focus on Racine and Kenosha counties. That's where we've seen a batch now work its way closer to home for us. Jane Zill, you've got a steadier shower on the north side of town. That's going to continue to work its way further towards the north and east. You work your way towards the south into Rock County. Here comes the rain, too. That's going to move towards Footville, Broadhead, and Evansville as we go through the next couple of moments here. Now, let's move northward just a little bit. We're in Dane County now. Stoughton, it's raining. Oregon, it's raining. Light rain is now arriving throughout parts of Fitchburg and Verona as well. This is going to continue to move towards the north and east. You see highways 12. That's the belt line just minutes away from being impacted by that rainfall. It is now six o'clock. More and more folks are getting ready to hit the roads. Those kids are getting ready to wake up. The buses are getting ready to go out and we do have rain moving into the picture. I've also been tracking some showers now north and east of Platteville impacting Lancaster and Mount Hope right now. Platteville, we've seen the rain start to dry out, but things are still damp as you work your way towards southwest Wisconsin. Here in Madison, the rain is getting ready to fall. In fact, the airport is even reporting some light rain showers. Our station camera, I've seen a couple of drops on it, and the steadiest rain hasn't even moved in just yet. 62, that's where our temperature stands right now. Jane Zill, you're at 64. 62 for Lone Rock and Boscobel Mineral Point. Good morning. You are waking up at 63, but I want to plan your day and I want to show you just how these rain showers are going to play out for us as we go through time. This is nine o'clock. You see the rain moving in between now and nine o'clock. That's why I say your morning commute is going to be wet out there, but then we start to push towards lunchtime. The showers begin to increase. If you're going out towards lunch, you need the umbrella. Ideally, though, stay in because it's going to be wet. We're going to start to see a few rumbles of thunder by the time we get you towards towards your lunchtime as well. Early afternoon, we hear more rumbles of thunder. That's when we'll see our heaviest chance for the rainfall. This right here is two o'clock, but now we get you towards five, six, seven. We'll start to dry things out just a wee bit, but we keep the shower chances around and we're going to see those lingering shower chances as we start to move into tomorrow as well. More of those pop up showers and thunderstorms into the afternoon. We dry out for Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures are going to top out around 80, but I'm already watching Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. More rain chances are coming our way. We're going to take a look at those plus the amount of rainfall we could see as we move closer towards 615. All right, Chris Reese, thanks for tracking that for us. We appreciate it. 603 now, a federal agent shot while serving a search warrant in Racine is expected to survive. This standoff started when officers arrived at a house to serve that warrant for aggravated assault and weapons violations. Agents did not return fire during yesterday's standoff and the officer hit was taken to the hospital. Police say negotiations took place during which several kids and adults walked out of the home. Once officers walked in, they found the suspect dead and had apparently shot himself. So far, the name of the suspect or the agent have not been released. New this morning, Madison police are investigating a shots fired case at a quick trip overnight on the west side. A number of calls came in for this one. It happened right around 630 at the quick trip on Mineral Point Road near the Beltline. Initial reports say an SUV pulled into the gas station and opened fire on someone in the parking lot. No one was hurt. This is an active investigation, though, so if you know anything about what happened, call Madison Police. The woman accused of stabbing a man to death in Fitchburg over the weekend, now being held on a million-dollar cash bond. Court records say 33-year-old Kanaya Quinn is now officially charged with first-degree intentional homicide. The stabbing happened early Saturday on Greenway Cross. The victim, 62-year-old Fred Edwards, died after being rushed to the hospital. He and the suspect were living together at the time. New information this morning, a federal judge has ordered Texas to suspend a new law that has banned most abortions in the state since last month. 
This order temporarily freezes the strict abortion law, which bans them after six weeks. The decision is the first legal blow to the Texas law since the U.S. Supreme Court allowed it to take effect last month. At Planned Parenthood, they're now noticing women leaving the state of Texas to receive abortions in neighboring states. Last year, we saw around 250 patients from Texas across our affiliate. This year to date, we've seen more than 500 and half of those since September 1st. Texas officials are expected to appeal. Now, despite the ruling, it's unclear if abortion services in Texas will resume. A lot of doctors fear that they could be sued later without a more permanent legal decision. Derek Chauvin's request for a public defender in his appeal process has been denied. The Minnesota Supreme Court said the former Minnesota officer ca has shown he can pay for a private attorney. Therefore, he has not established that he's entitled to appointed representation. Chauvin currently serving a 22 and a half year sentence for the murder of George Floyd. Chauvin's attorney in his di district court case, Eric Nelson, was paid for by the Minnesota Peace and Police Officers Association. Chauvin said he was informed their obligation to pay for his representation terminated upon his conviction. And new this morning, a group of Minneapolis police officers are under fire after expressing disdain for protesters last year. We're about to show you the video and you'll hear the audio from back on May 30th of 2020, just five days after George Floyd's death. A warning, it could be difficult for some to hear. <laughs> you guys are out hunting people now, and it's just a nice change of tempo. Yep, agreed. These people. Be very, very quiet. We're looking at the One of the officers quoted in the video has since retired. All this video was released by Jaleel Stallings' attorney. Stallings was acquitted of eight criminal charges after firing back at officers that night. Madison's mayor is responding to a subpoena for her city in the Republican investigation into Wisconsin's presidential election. The retired Wisconsin Supreme Court justice leading the charge issued those subpoenas to mayors in the state's five largest and most democratic cities. Michael Gableman says mayors in Milwaukee, Racine, Kenosha, Green Bay, and Madison are all being subpoenaed. Here's what Mayor Satya Rhodes-Conway had to say. This is unfair and it's unprecedented. Our poll workers and our clerks across the state of Wisconsin do an incredible job, and they should be thanked, not harassed. This constant rehashing of the 2020 election is not only demoralizing for our clerks, it is corrosive to our democracy. President Biden won all five of the cities in 2020 on his way to defeating President Trump in Wisconsin. She's a mom, a cancer survivor, a former journalist, and Wisconsin's former lieutenant governor. Now, Rebecca Clayfish is uh, shooting to be the GOP candidate for governor, of course. Uh, in an I would say prioritizing safety. I would say making sure that our kids have great educations and empowering parents in order to make those good choices. Making sure also our dollars are following the kid and not just buildings or administrators, and then also assuring that our workers have the right training in order to jump into the economy and great paying jobs mm -hmm. so that we're the jewel of the Midwest again. The other Republican candidates running are political newcomers Jonathan, Jonathan Wickman, Leonard Larson Jr., Adam Fisher, and James Kelland. Tomorrow night on News 3 Now at 10, we'll sit down with Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes to talk about his effort to win a seat in the U.S. Senate. Around the state in Franklin, Wisconsin, police are looking into what they're calling a large marijuana growing operation. Court documents show informants tipped off the operation back in August. A search warrant was executed on September 1st. The owner of the property says he's leasing the land to hemp growers. Former charges have yet to be filed in this case. A pretty substantial crash last night on the Beltline. It's been cleared up, but at one point, right around 7.30, all eastbound lanes near Fish Hatchery Road were closed. That brought traffic to a standstill. Multiple vehicles were involved, but so far we don't have any updates on the condition of the people in the crash. Cases of Lyman Kugel's beer scattered across I-94 yesterday after a semi tipped over. Check out the pictures. State Patrol sharing these on their Facebook page. You can see cases of beer here just uh, all over the place and just piled up in the ditch. This happened at 9.15 in the morning near Hickston in Jackson County. No injuries. The semi, the only vehicle involved. Quite a shame. It is, isn't it? It's a lot of linings. Hate to cry over spilled beer, but... <laughs> I will cry over spilled <laughs> beer.
Or six, you may hesitate. 609 now. Coming up, the Facebook whistleblower continues her comments on Capitol Hill today. What she says the social media giant helped make worse. And we're in the 608 this morning as Verona area high school students prepare for their first in-person musical in more than two years. The ultimate mattress sale is happening now at Ashley Home Store. Ultimate savings on Tempur-Pedic, Beautyrest, and Purple mattresses. Plus, ultimate doorbusters at up to 65% off and free delivery within five days on in-stock beds. Only at Ashley Home Store. If your credit card debt is out of control... If you're in over your head in monthly payments, there's a secret the credit card companies don't want you to know. If you have more than $10,000 in credit card debt, you have the right to let us settle that debt for a fraction of what you owe. That's bad news for the credit card companies, but it's great news for you. We're Credit Associates, and we're offering you free information on how to completely resolve your credit card debt with a monthly payment you can afford. To see how much you could save, call now. 1-800-914-7929. Don't declare bankruptcy. Don't consolidate. Give us 10 minutes and we could save you thousands. After all, we depend on your success and offer a guarantee so there's no risk to call. Credit Associates. Live better, debt-free. We'll even show you how to use your stimulus money to jumpstart our services and get you debt-free faster than you ever thought possible. Call Credit Associates now to see how much you could save for free. Call 1-800-914-7929. At U.S. Cellular, we know the local landscape, so we can help everyone stay connected for less. And less also means more, as in more choice. While the other guys may limit your options, at U.S. Cellular, you choose any phone and we make it free. That's right. Visit our store and any phone you see is free. Plus, get unlimited data for $30 a month and get the most out of our state-of-the-art network, wherever you choose to go. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. Over these past months, we've all experienced changes and a great deal of reflection. But here's a change you can truly be excited about. Sonobello, America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, permanently removes the fat from your stomach, hips and thighs, and back. I walked past mirrors. I didn't want to see any of that. I can't even tell you how excited I am about Sonobello and what they've done for me. I'm just living my best life now because I'm being the best that I can be. Sonobello's board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells permanently. Schedule your free no obligation consultation. Plus, get $250 off instantly. You deserve to do something for you. Call 1-888-512-1753 or go to sonobello.com now. The ultimate sale is happening now at Ashley Home Store. Get ultimate discounts up to 50% off and get a bonus 10% off our sale prices at checkout. Plus, three years interest-free financing with no minimum purchase. Only at Ashley Home Store. You're watching News 3 Now This Morning, winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for Overall Excellence in Television. Welcome back. We're in the 608 this morning to preview the first in-person musical at the new Verona High School. Kids have been waiting a long time mm -hmm. for this one. Let me turn my microphone back on. Chris Stanford. There we go. Shame it's on Friday. me. I turned my microphone off. We're close. All right, so back to Verona area uh, senior high here. Uh, you may remember we did a story a few months ago about how they were doing a virtual performance. Uh, now they have a new performing arts center, and Josh Breider is there this morning. And they get to go in front of a crowd uh, this weekend. A uh, big moment for the kids there in Verona. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, Chris's mic is off and I'm wet. The rain is really coming <laughs> down here it. in Verona this morning. So we're underneath, we're underneath the awning. We're right up next to the doors. I literally can't be any closer to the doors here this morning. But hey, we are excited. We're gearing up for a big night. And you'll remember I was in this very spot five months ago when we were talking about how they had to go virtual last year. But now that stage is finally set. Take a look at this. Instead of sitting empty, they are ready to be back. Students are gearing up for their first in-person show in the brand new Performing Arts Center. Tonight is the opening night for their fall musical. Xanadu is a Tony Award nominated hilarious roller skating musical adventure about following your dreams despite the limitations others set for you, which with what these last 18 months brought to these students with the pandemic really couldn't be any more fitting. Suddenly came the dawn. Suddenly I was born. 
just the energy that these kids give off um, and to have it back with an audience. Um, they're so ready for it. We've been uh, planning from this uh, last summer all the way through this moment and we're so excited to be here. You can catch the fall musical the next three nights with showings at 7 p.m. There's also a matinee set for Saturday at 2 in the afternoon. Tickets are still available, and I've put a link to this story up on channel3000.com with more information, and those tickets are right there. Students tell me they are super excited to be back on stage here in more than two years. That means for those that are going to be graduating after this year, they haven't performed in front of, in front of an audience since they were sophomores, guys. So this is a pretty incredible experience just ahead for them this weekend. And coming up, we're going to actually speak with a high school senior about what all of this has been like and why she's so excited for this weekend. Oh, I bet after not being in front of a crowd for two years now, I mean, a lot of these in the senior now, so what, like during their, their sophomore years would, would have been the last time they would have performed in front of a crowd? Some nerves. Yeah, and you think about how many changes happen over just a couple of years as a high school student from a sophomore to a senior to be able to perform in front of an audience. That's uh, going to be a great experience for them, guys. Well, we are excited for everyone mm -hmm. at Verona Area High School. Good for them. Uh, big weekend. Josh, thank you very much. Remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. You can reach out to him on social media or shoot him an email. Okay, let's check in on our Coats for Kids collection this morning. The deadline just two days away. We're officially cracking the 3,000 mark. We want to take a minute and thank everyone who has donated so far. Everybody else, you still have time to do so. Clinky Cleaners will accept donations until the end of the day Saturday. So, check your closets for any winter coat, any of your kids' winter coats that you're no longer using. All right, in Alabama, look at this. Heavy rain causing some flash flooding down there. The Birmingham Fire Department says they've had a lot of water rescues with reports of rescuing people trapped in their cars. The area got four to seven inches of rain within just a few hours. That is a lot of rain. We're getting a little here, Chris. Uh, this is this seems like a, a nice, a nice long term, you know, not a, not a toad strangler, as my uh, mother would call it. A toad strangler. A southern term right there. Yeah, we're watching that rain move <laughs> into the picture right now. And I want to show you the radar in Verona at the moment. That's where Josh Spryder just was. He was talking about the rainfall getting ready to come down. That's one of the communities being impacted by the rain. So he's at the Verona Area High School. And that's right over here, right around Epic Lane and County Highway G. Oddly enough, the heaviest rain is just south of 151 there as you try uh, start to work your way down Highway 69. But still, we're watching more and more of the steadier rain move its way on into town. Stoughton, you see the yellow? That's getting ready to move towards you. Oregon, you see the yellow and the orange? That's moving towards Fitchburg. All of this is moving towards the Beltline. I-3990 as well. Even Janesville, the north side of town. This is some heavier rain that's coming down, and that's going to be pushing its way towards Madison as we go through time. So all of southern Wisconsin eventually gets wet as we go throughout the morning. We're even tracking some rain right now throughout Racine and Kenosha counties, and those are the areas where our drought is extreme as of the latest update. Severe drought, moderate drought all throughout southern Wisconsin. Things will change, though, by the time we get the update around this time next week. Here's why. This is the amount of rainfall that we could be talking just as we go throughout today. Over an inch of rain is going to be possible in some spots just throughout today. Some lighter rain comes around as we go throughout tomorrow, but there are multiple rain chances even as we go into early next week as well. I'm going to track another system moving in from the south on Monday. We're going to see another system work its way in Tuesday into Wednesday, perhaps another system by next weekend as well. And folks, all of this is going to mean more water that we get to drink, especially our very dry ground. As we go through the week, towards next weekend, we are talking the potential of two to three inches of rainfall throughout southern Wisconsin. It's all potential. A lot can change between now and then, but that is, of course, what we're keeping our eye on. But we're also going to be keeping our eye on the roadways this morning. I am not seeing any issues right now, but as the water, the raindrops, as they begin to approach the belt line with more and more people that are going to be out, you've got buses, you've got teenagers, you have your normal daily commuters. We're going to watch this traffic flow and let you know if anything changes. Chris Reese, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Continuing coverage this morning, the Facebook whistleblower is expected to meet with lawmakers to talk about the January 6th siege on the U.S. Capitol. Francis Hogan, who previously served as a product manager for the social media giant, says Facebook knowingly used its platforms to spread misinformation and hate for profit. 
The company, the committee rather, says it would like insight from Hogan on how Facebook was used to fan the flames of violence at the Capitol. Hogan's meeting with the committee could happen as soon as today. The game streaming service Twitch says it experienced a major data breach. In a tweet, the company says it's still working to figure out the extent of the problem. Twitch pays streamers for their games, and some Twitter users say the leaked information accurately shows how much they receive. 619 up next, we take a look at what was catching the eyes of Illinois drivers the other day. Oh yeah, it'll catch your eye as well. And coming up in our next half hour, a preview of the Brewers' start to postseason. Everything you need to know. Cobus and Buses, now hiring. After we backed that bus out of its stall and started driving, I just loved it. We really get a chance to get to know each other. Almost everyone has a different story about how they came to bus driving. So you really end up feeling like you're part of a family. Visit Cobuson.com to apply. For a job you love, yo, you gotta get down. Mouth, pet food, warehouse. Every day you'll get to help so many pets in town. Don't forget the free mounds candy bars. Looking to update your flooring? Sir Jennians has you covered. Our experienced salespeople will guide you through the area's largest flooring selection so you can make the best decision. And Sir Jennians reliable craftsmen ensure your flooring's installed right. Local, sustainable Sir Jennians. As traveling continues throughout the year, Meineke Car Care Center is continuing to make your safety our number one priority. To give you peace of mind, receive a free brake inspection with any appointment. Meineke Car Care Center is here to help keep you safe on the road. You heard the saying, if it looks like bacon and it tastes like sausage, it's probably Johnsonville Sausage Strips. Oh, you never heard that? Well, sausage strips are pretty new. They're strips of sausage in amazing flavors like maple and chorizo. You can find this meaty miracle by the bacon, even though it's sausage. Whoa. He doesn't just talk. Democrat Alex Lazary gets it done. Help build Pfizer Forum on progressive values. Wages, $15 an hour. Materials, 80% from Wisconsin. Environmentally cutting edge. Alex Lazary. Leader on social justice. Proven activist for voting rights. Alex Lazary. The Democrats have beat Ron Johnson. It's why Alex Lazary is endorsed by Wisconsin's leading unions. For Senate, Alex Lazary. I'm Alex Lazary, and I approve this message. The grand opening of Slumberland Sleep Solutions, where we've simplified, uncomplicated, and laid things out for you. First, take your rest match to pick your basic mattress type. You love memory foam. I really do. Then shop using the information and rating system on each bed. It's mattress shopping reinvented, plus mattress specials for every budget. And save big on our reclining sofas and chairs. On sale now, only at Slumberland Furniture. Cobuson Buses, now hiring. Working with Cobuson, it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. If you do need time off, they work around you. They, they definitely try to make it a company that's based for you. Visit Cobuson.com to apply. Take a look at this gorgeous shop by Kevin Charles Greenberg. Always sending in just some beautiful, beautiful pictures. We found out this is a water wheel, little mill in the background. Would love to know where this is so I could add it to my list of Wisconsin destinations. It's like a postcard. Oh, my producer tells me it's out of Fort Atkinson. It's a great picture. What? Tell it was taken a little bit ago. Uh, this, this, this couldn't have been recently. It could be prettier the, right now, huh? I, I know. Could you imagine the colors in this photo? Kevin, we love this photo. Thanks for sharing. Let us know what your morning looks like. Snap a photo. Use the hashtag MyNews3Morning. Share it on social, and we can find it and share it right here on the program. All right. How's this for a lead? Two zebras that escaped from a suburban Chicago pumpkin farm. Pause for reaction. Had travelers on an Illinois state highway doing double takes. Take a look, folks. The zebras <laughs> escaped Sunday from a pen inside the indoor zoo in Pine Grove, Illinois. I'd, this would just 
this one stop me in my tracks. <laughs> These little fellas crossed the state highway what several times, world? wandered through some farm fields. You'd stop and think, is that a horse? Is that a striped horse? <laughs> what type like, of mane is that? That's a zebra. That's a gosh darn zebra. So after about two hours, workers with the pumpkin patch and the zoo tracked down the animals on all-terrain vehicles and <laughs> captured them. <laughs> You, so it's I wild. said this earlier, but look at this scene right here. Looks like it's right in the African Sahara, you know, in some sort it of does. grassland. Yeah, it does kind of, doesn't it? Nope, it's a cornfield. That's great video. That's Illinois, fun talk folks. About. Illinois. <laughs> All right, so uh, things looking a little bit dry there. We are wet here, Chris Reese, and the bust out forecast. Uh, you're going to need those rain jackets and umbrellas this yes, morning. Yes, umbrellas, rain boots, the whole shebang as the kids head to the bus stop. Some of that steadier rain is moving into the area as we speak. Early afternoon, we're going to see more of those rain showers as well. Temperatures staying in the 60s will top out into the low 70s when it comes to your highs. Now, I'm also taking a moment to look at your Friday night football forecast because we're still going to be dealing with that chance of rainfall around here. A few showers, so this is not at all a washout, but we are going to be damp as temperatures staying in the 60s helps things feel like fall. But there's a reason behind why we're moving into a more active pattern. There's a reason behind why we're going to see the rainfall as we go through these next couple of days. And when we come back, we're going to have Meteorology 101. I'm looking at the upper air pattern. I'm going to tell you what's driving those rain chances as you get ready to head out on the road. All right, Chris Reese. Yeah, Friday Night Football uh, looking a little soggy. Prepare accordingly. Okay, we're going to take a quick commercial break, folks. We'll be back with another half hour of News 3 Now this morning. Don't go anywhere. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. At Pick and Save, we know that the slower a banana ripens, the longer it stays fresh. So we keep things fresher than fresh by ripening them slowly. Bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Bananas. If your credit card debt is out of control, if you're in over your head in monthly payments, there's a secret the credit card companies don't want you to know. If you have more than $10,000 in credit card debt, you have the right to let us settle that debt for a fraction of what you owe. That's bad news for the credit card companies, but it's great news for you. We're Credit Associates, and we're offering you free information on how to completely resolve your credit card debt with a monthly payment you can afford. To see how much you can save, call now. 1-800-914-7929. Don't declare bankruptcy. Don't consolidate. Give us 10 minutes and we could save you thousands. After all, we depend on your success and offer a guarantee so there's no risk to call. Credit Associates. Live better debt-free. We'll even show you how to use your stimulus money to jumpstart our services and get you debt-free faster than you ever thought possible. Call Credit Associates now to see how much you could save for free. Call 1-800-914-799. At U.S. Cellular, we know the local landscape, so we can help everyone stay connected for less. And less also means more, as in more choice. While the other guys may limit your options, at U.S. Cellular, you choose any phone and we make it free. That's right. Visit our store and any phone you see is free. Plus, get unlimited data for $30 a month and get the most out of our state-of-the-art network, wherever you choose to go. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. You've heard that an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but you still need to see your dentist because getting good dental care is important to your overall health. You know dental bills can take a big bite out of your budget, especially if you're retired or on Medicare. Even a simple cleaning can cost $200, and other procedures like crowns and root canals can cost hundreds, even thousands more. But affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company can help. Give us a call or go online for this free information kit with all the details. This isn't just a discount plan. This is real dental insurance that can help pay for over 350 covered procedures, like cleanings, fillings, crowns, even dentures. There are no deductibles, no annual maximum, and you can see any dentist you like. So don't wait. Call now or go online for your free information kit from Physicians Mutual. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. 
How do we make sure pick and save food is fresh? We put sensors on our coolers, and if something changes, we drop whatever we're doing to take care of it. That way, we can make sure pick and save food isn't just fresh, it's fresher than fresh. Right now, the remembrance of three teenagers lost too soon continues during an emotional night at Middleton's homecoming. We are still tracking showers this morning, now knocking on the door of the belt line, but we're also watching everyone who's seeing the showers. We're going to let you know who that is in the first one forecast. Good Thursday morning, everyone, and thank you for watching News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. Thanks for waking up with us, everybody. I'm Leah Lynchide. Middleton High Schoolers are dedicating their homecoming week activities to the three students recently lost. That includes Middleton seniors Evan Cradwell and Jack Miller, along with Madison West Sr. and former Middleton student Simon Valesi. All three were killed in a car crash Saturday during the homecoming parade last night. Students made signs and walked in their honor. Everybody knew them, everybody loved them, and they, they're going to be missed so much. Yeah, like, I know me personally, like, I don't want to go to homecoming this weekend. Like, I don't want to be here right now, to be honest. I want to be home and in my bed, but I know that all three of them would be so mad at us if we were to stop doing this because they left, like, they were, they would want us to keep going and, like, be happy and, like, just remember them to all their good Yeah. Homecoming week continues with more activities in honor of the students. For example, today is Jersey Day at Middleton High, honoring Jack's love for jerseys. Students at West High School say they want their Spanish teacher back after the district wouldn't allow her to continue teaching virtually. Yesterday, students walked out of classes to protest the district's decision to move their teacher from West to the district's all-virtual academy. The teacher, Deanna Zorko, is a double organ transplant recipient. She says she wanted to continue teaching at West, but to do so remotely. There was no student input in this decision. The district didn't ask us how we would feel, what would be best for us, or what would be a good way to work around the situation. A district spokesperson says Zorko had not completed the necessary paperwork to remain in her role. He adds, we continue our focus on supporting Ms. Zorko and have been working collaboratively to find the best solution for her. All right, let's get back to those rain showers moving into the Madison area right now. Uh, coming down pretty heavy in some spots, Chris. Yes, it is, and there's a reason for it. It's this area of low pressure that is separated from the jet stream. In weather world, we call this a cutoff area of low pressure, a cutoff low. And watch the winds around it. This is that meteorology 101 that I just talked about. I say it all the time, what happens up Upstairs really controls what happens downstairs here on the ground and watch the winds around this area of low pressure and how they are steering where that rain is going. You've got winds moving directly from west to east throughout the Oklahoma and Texas Panhandle, Kentucky and Tennessee. The rain is moving from south to north and then you work your way towards northern Illinois. We see that rain moving from the south and east further back towards the north and west. That's exactly what's happening right here in Madison and all that moisture that you see towards our south and east. That that's going to be moving into town as we go throughout today. This is why your rain chances are so high. Today is a great day to have that News 3 Now First Storm Weather app ready to go because you can track these storms in real time as they start to move on in. We're going to see even more scattered showers around into Friday as well. We're completely unsettled. Here's the radar right now. This is Doppler track. Yes, we have a lot more coming at us from the south and east this morning, but I want to focus on southern Wisconsin because the rain is really starting to overspread the area. Janesville and points north. You've got some steadier rain that's starting to pick up. It's no longer light rain, but now moderate rain that's starting to come down and it's all moving back towards the north and west. Oregon, it's coming down at a good clip. Stoughton, it's coming down at a good clip. You work your way towards Verona and it's starting to come down at a good clip and that belt line is starting to see those heavier rainfall rates move on in. Now I want to focus on southwest Wisconsin because you are not forgotten. Fenimore, it is raining there as well. Same for our friends over in Prairie du Chien down towards Bloomington, now just north of our friends in Lancaster. This right here is our station tower camera. This is that quick trip at Raymond Road in McKenna, and it's hard to see because the rain is coming down. Our temperature's at 62 degrees right now, 64 as you work your way towards Janesville. Meanwhile, in the Dells, where it's not raining just yet, we're at 57 degrees. But I want to put things in motion as we go throughout today, and we're going to see more and more of that rainfall, especially early afternoon. 
By 430, we start the evening commute. We're going to see rain initially, but it's becoming much more spotty compared to that steadier rain that we're going to have throughout the late morning and early afternoon. If you have outdoor plans this morning, this is where you take action. This is where you use that rain plan that I hope you set up earlier this week. Folks, temperatures warm up to the 80s by the weekend, and then we talk even more rain chances as we go towards early next week. All right, thank you, Chris. You can stay on top of the weather by downloading the Channel 3000 weather app. Just go to wherever you get your apps and search Channel 3000 weather. In Rock County this morning, the Janesville PD turning to the community asking for your help to find a missing teenager. Come take a look. This is Deshaun Wheeler. He's 18 years old, reported missing by his family after not having contact with them for the past month. Police say friends have also been trying to find him. They have not heard from him in several weeks. We are learning more about a possible motive in the Texas high school shooting from yesterday. Family of the gunmen say he was the target of bullying. 18-year-old Timothy Simpkins turned himself in after injuring four people. He opened fire in the school and ran off, hours later turning himself in with an attorney present. Now this all might have stemmed from a fight with another student. Video of it is circulating on social media. Students saying Simpkins is the one being beat up. Madison police have a man in custody this morning. He is accused of intentionally starting a fire at the temporary men's homeless shelter. This happened Tuesday night at the East Side Shelter. They say a 42-year-old man lit a jacket on fire, which then caused a mattress to catch fire. Fire crews put it out quickly. The man arrested. He is being held on tentative charges of arson and felony bail jumping. The Wisconsin DNR says nitrogen dioxide concentrations in the air dropped by 14% during the 2020 Safer at Home order. They attribute the drop in emissions to a reduction of cars on the road because people weren't commuting to work at that time. In their 2021 Wisconsin Air Quality Trends report, the department says all pollutants are decreasing statewide. Since 2002, the state has seen a 39% decrease in air pollutants from industrial sources. All right, tomorrow is the start of the postseason for the Milwaukee Brewers, and they're getting ready to face off against the Atlanta Braves. It's a really good squad. They're young, um, talented, and um, I think that's the same thing our squad is, too. And it's, it's going to be some, some really good games. Um, competition is going to be really high, and it should be some exciting, fun games. This is the fourth straight postseason for the Brewers, though they have yet to make it all the way to the World Series in that time. Coming up tomorrow, Josh Spreider and I will be live at AmFam Field to preview the first playoff series. We'll have everything you need to know, whether you're heading to the game or watching from home. Uh, Brewers in six. <laughs> is that going to be the new <laughs> the new chant? I'll get behind that, sure. <laughs> Why not? All right, outside this morning, yeah, we have a lot of rain that is pushing into southern Wisconsin right now. Uh, we're going to continue to track that and let you know just how long it'll last. And what's behind all those booked vet clinics? Why you can't get your pet in? Plus, we're in the 608 as students here at Verona Area High School are getting ready for their first in-person musical in more than two years when we come back. Ultimate sale is happening now at Ashley Home Store. Get ultimate discounts up to 50% off and get a bonus 10% off our sale prices at checkout. Plus three years interest-free financing with no minimum purchase. Only at Ashley Home Store. Habitat homes are built and bought by the hardworking families that live in them. Through affordable mortgages backed by your donations, Habitat Dane County offers a chance for these families to invest in their future and their community. Please donate or volunteer today. We're divided, but we can agree now's the time to help hardworking Wisconsinites, right? Nope, not Ron Johnson. See, on lowering prescription drug prices, Johnson was a no. Adding dental and vision to Medicare? Nah. Or making childcare more affordable to help people get back to work? No way. What about making the rich, like him, pay their fair share in taxes? Heck no. Tell Ron Johnson, time to say yes to building Wisconsin back better. For 87 years, Steinhoffels has been helping families create the home of their dreams. And during Steinhoffels' 87th anniversary sale, we're celebrating with store-wide savings of 35%, plus an extra $87 off your purchase of $17.99 or more. Steinhoffels has the largest selection of furniture and mattresses ready for your home. Celebrate 87 years with us and save big during Steinhoffels' anniversary sale. Only at Steinhoffels and Steinhoffels.com. 
Join Anytime Fitness for just $1 now through October 12th. Anytime Fitness gives you 24-7 support with expert coaching on all things fitness, nutrition, and everything in between. Now through October 12th, join for just $1. Visit anytimefitness.com today. At Security Health Plan, we're celebrating you. plans with special perks just for you. Register for a seminar or personal appointment to learn more. The Ultimate Appliance Sale is happening now at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Get ultimate savings on special buys and doorbusters at up to 40% off. Plus ultimate no interest financing for 12 months. Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley Home Store off the Beltline and coming soon to East Springs Drive. A massive resettlement has Wisconsin veterans stepping up in a big way. You can really do see sort of the excitement you know, on their faces. Susan Simon talks to Team Rubicon about its mission to get donations to Afghan refugees. Tonight on News 3 Now at 6. To be voted one of the top news stations in the country is a huge honor. To be called the best in the industry is a great accomplishment. Thank you for making News 3 Now WISC TV your first choice for excellence. Hi, Chris. It's Tiana from Dodgeville. Hey, Chris, plan my day. More and more Southwest Wisconsin starting to pop up. Good morning, Jana. We are going to be planning for some showers as you go throughout the day. This is a live look outside in Madison where that rain is coming down, but I'm showing you Madison one because that's moving in towards Dodgeville. We are going to see the off and on showers all day long. Temperatures hover in the 60s, eventually topping out right around 70 degrees as we start to move towards the afternoon. This is Dodgeville right now. You've actually seen a shower already this morning. That was about an hour ago. No rain is coming down in Dodgeville right now, but rain will start to come down as we move towards the afternoon. This rain that you're seeing south of Madison right now, that's slowly working its way towards parts of Iowa and Sauk counties as we go throughout the morning. Take the umbrella as you head out. Expect to get wet right around lunchtime and into the early afternoon because that's where those rain chances are going to be at their highest. You're going to need to have that umbrella on hand all the way throughout Friday evening. Your commute, it's going to be wet this morning, spotty shower. Showers this evening will create for a wet commute, and we can expect more showers as you move into Friday. Uh, not a great day to go wash the car, huh? <laughs> no. I mean, nature is giving you the car wash if your right. car is dusty. For free. No charge. Yeah. Tip accordingly. All right. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> In the 608 this morning, we are previewing an in-person musical at the New Verona Area High School. It's been months, years. It's yeah, been months we, since we've yeah. been there. It's a follow-up. Josh Spreider first brought us this story earlier this year. He's live outside the Verona Performing Arts Center this morning. Hey, Josh. Hey guys, good morning. First off, it's a good thing I listened to Chris Reese. I've got my raincoat on this morning. You're going to want that today, folks. It's a little wet out here, but hey, it's going to be dry inside here tonight as the fine arts students here at Verona Area High School are welcoming folks back for the first time inside in more than two years. Take a look at this, guys. The stage is now set for tonight at the Performing Arts Center for the fall musical Xanadu. The director tells me there was so much excitement around this return that more than 40 students are part of the cast and production team this year. Even though there will be a few differences this time around, such as everyone, even the cast, being required to wear masks, for senior Laura Reinfeld, being back on the stage is everything she's been dreaming of since last being in front of an audience in 2019. Last time I had an in-person audience, I was a sophomore, and I'm graduating, so yeah, it's a bit, a bit crazy, but I think I'm very excited to have that energy back. I've definitely missed it a lot. It's one of the first joys of performing for me. Xanadu is a Tony Award nominated hilarious roller skating musical adventure about following your dreams despite the limitations others set for you, which with what the last 18 months brought to these students with the pandemic really couldn't be any more fitting. You can catch that show the next three nights at 7 o'clock and also a special matinee showing on Saturday at 2 o'clock. Tickets are still available and if you want to get those tickets or learn more information, I've put links up on this story, the Channel 3000 mobile app and also our website this morning, guys. The return to in-person audiences. Josh, are some of these kids kind of nervous? 
Yes, yeah, that's what, when Laura was talking to us, she's like, guys, I haven't been in front of an audience and I, since I was a sophomore, now she's a senior. So this is a big deal for a lot of these students and it's at least good that they're able to put it on in this capacity. They're still gonna have to wear masks even on the stage due to the coronavirus, but it's something, right? I think that's what, what, we've, what, what we've learned over the last couple of years is, you know, you have to pivot and sometimes doing something is better than nothing at all. So a good experience whatsoever. A good nervous. Yeah. There's nothing like a live Good audience. butterflies. All right, Josh Breider, thank you very much. Remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. Reach out to him. He is at Josh Breider TV on social media. Or email him. The address is in the 608 at WISCTV.com. All right. New this morning, we expect the Senate to announce a bipartisan agreement to raise the debt ceiling sometime today. Senator Tammy Baldwin told CNN last night she does support the deal. In terms of a temporary uh, uh, lifting of the debt ceiling through uh, close to the end of this year, we view that as a victory. We view it as a temporary victory, though, with more work to do. Yesterday, Minority Leader Mitch McConnell said Republicans would allow an emergency debt limit extension. It would set a fixed amount for the debt ceiling for about two months. Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson has not said publicly if he supports the temporary deal. New footage this morning from the oil spill off the coast of Southern California. A remotely operated vehicle shows a tear here. That's what you're looking at. It's a tear in the pipeline that released more than 100,000 gallons of oil into the Pacific Ocean. Investigators believe the backlog of over 60 container ships at the L.A. port could have played a role in the spill. The Coast Guard says the mile-long section of pipe that ruptured appears to have been dragged about 100 feet. If you've been having trouble getting your pet an appointment at the vet, you're not alone. The American Veterinary Medical Association reports the average number of vet appointments increased about 5% from 2019 to 2021. Many of those appointments are backlogged. It's not because of an increase in pet ownership. Vets were only considered essential workers at the start of the pandemic for urgent appointments. We postponed wellness care for a couple months on a bunch of pets. So that created a large backlog that you need to catch up with at some point. Dr. Kratz says he advises clients to schedule appointments out long before they're needed to ensure problems with your pet are caught before they happen. That's what we did. I uh, haven't gotten my pets in for a while and I'm going to be paying for it. Gotta, gotta take them on the care books. of those yeah, little fellas. How's Ale doing these days? Yeah, they're uh they're the same as they usually are. They're I, good. I'd love to introduce them to Bascom, but I feel like Bascom might sit on them. And <laughs> yeah. We'd lose somebody. Uh, my, my dogs are maybe like uh, 1 20th the size of, of little Leah's fellas. dog. I got a couple of little anger biters. Little fellas. And what, uh, ba uh, Bascom is, is probably... Pushing uh, 65, 65, I'm, I'm pounds? betting. pounds? She's 55 right around the wedding. It's been a couple weeks, oh, so... Oh, man, just growing like a weed. Oh, yeah. Speaking of... Big animals. <laughs> the online contest of massive proportions now over, and we know the winner of Alaska's Fat Bear Week. Yeah, the big man of the moment is 480 Otis. 480 Otis. So Fat Bear Week is put on in Alaska at the Katmai National Park. And they're sharing the story of the park's large brown bear population as they pack on the pounds for hibernation. And get this, this is 480 Otis's fourth Fat Bear Week title. Even though he started off the year kind of thin, and facing some health problems. He's 25 years old. He's lost two teeth. That hasn't stopped him from eating all the salmon he can get his little paws on. And we've learned this morning that 25 years is uh, kind of old for a bear out in the wild. He's kind of maxed out. They normally li they live for about 25 years in the wild, 50 in captivity. So Otis, you're killing it, sir. A wise old bear. You look great. Coming up in the morning sprint, the Packers are expected to sign a new player today. We'll have the details on that. But first, it's October 7th. We want to say happy birthday to this young boy, Charlie, and all the kids turning three today. Happy birthday, Charlie. Thanks for celebrating with us here on the show. Look Who's Three is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. It's A1 Furniture's 42nd anniversary sale. Save up to 42% off store-wide. Get 42 months free financing plus tax included on purchases over $9.99. Huge selection in stock now at A1 Furniture. Madison's locally owned family furniture store. Hi, I'm Rebecca from 90 Day Fiance. And this was my stubborn body fat that I just couldn't get rid of. But then I went to Sonabello and they permanently removed my body fat in just one visit. It is so intensely 
gratifying for one visit to make this big of a change. It's amazing. Sono Bellows board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells permanently on your stomach, hips and thighs, back, and so much more. It feels incredible to look down and it's flat. Thank you again, Sonobello. I'm so happy. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-800-595-1532 or go to sonobello.com. Fire will destroy. Whether you live in a house or a high rise, protect it with fire sprinklers. Fire sprinklers buy time. Time buys life. Learn more at firesprinklersbylife.com. Welcome back, Bill. I'm here for some new tires. Well, you're in luck. It's our tire savings event, so now's the perfect time. Tires a little worn down. Worn down, exactly. Worn down. Exactly. <clears throat> right now, during our tire savings event, buy three tires and get the fourth for only a dollar. Toyota Service Centers. Keep your Toyota a Toyota. Personalize your home with quality doors from Menards. We have the best in-stock door selection to take home today. Or customize your door with our door designer on Menards.com. All Mastercraft doors have the fastest delivery and ships to store for free in approximately seven days. Larson Storm Doors let fresh air in and help save on your home's energy cost. Right now, get 11% off our entire selection of Larson Storm Doors. Save big money. Miss A1 Furniture's 42nd anniversary sale. Save up to 42% off name brand mattresses and get 42 months free financing plus tax included on purchases over $9.99. Huge selection in stock now at A1 Furniture. Madison's locally owned family furniture store. Hope is closer than ever. SSM Health Cancer Care. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for Overall Excellence in Television. 6.51, time for the morning sprint. Madison, one of the five cities in Wisconsin at the center of the Republican-led and taxpayer-funded 2020 election probe. Subpoenas were delivered yesterday to the state's five biggest cities. Michael Gableman says mayors in Milwaukee, Racine, Kenosha, Green Bay, and Madison are all being subpoenaed. Mayor Satya Rhodes-Conway calls it unprecedented and corrosive to our democracy. President Biden did win all of the cities in 2020 on his way to defeating then-President Trump in Wisconsin. Contact tracers in the state can now alert you of a close contact if you've come in a close contact with someone who's tested positive for COVID. They can do it through a text message now. Tracers collect information about close contacts from positive folks. And if uh, the number on your screen right here uh, shows up on your phone, just know it's not spam. It's the Wisconsin DHS alerting you of a possible exposure to the virus. The department will still call people who don't have texting or emailing capabilities. At the state capitol, Democrats want to bring collective bargaining back to Wisconsin's teachers. The Collective Bargaining for Public Educators Act would give employees of school districts and the tech college and UW systems the right to collectively bargain. They could bargain over wages, hours, and conditions of employment. The Wisconsin Educators Association Council is behind the legislation. During their match last night, Forward Madison FT, FC rather, uh, wore black armbands to honor three high schoolers who died in a car crash over the weekend. The team tweeted the announcement saying it was in remembrance of Simon, Jack, and Evan, two of whom were soccer players. The conservative law firm Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty is suing UW-Madison. It's over allegations the university hired three mental health providers to work exclusively with students of color. UW says it updated its original hiring announcement from Tuesday to clarify the rules, saying they have expertise in addressing racial issues that students of color may face. The Packers are adding another Smith to the defense, former pro bowler, Jalen Smith is expected to sign with the team today. He was just released by the Dallas Cowboys. He is a 26-year-old middle linebacker that can add some pretty solid interior defense to a team that has really needed help there at the middle linebacker position. 
And uh, it is still unclear. The team has yet to announce if all pro corner Jair Alexander will return this season after a shoulder injury Sunday. The White House wants to increase the supply of at-home COVID test kits. Coronavirus Response Director Jeff Zients announced a plan to buy a billion dollars worth of the tests. They're pretty hard to find in stores right now. The goal is to have 200 million available every month. Police are searching for a witness who they say may have information about a fatal crash. This crash happened last Wednesday around 3.30 in the afternoon in Green County, uh, in Green, uh, Green Lake County on uh, State Highway 23. Police say that 10 minutes earlier, a second crash happened involving a red or a maroon SUV. The driver of the SUV reportedly left the vehicle briefly before leaving the scene. Police believe that driver has information on the fatal crash that happened just minutes later. An independent cold case group claims to have uncovered the name of the Zodiac Killer. The man is linked to at least five murders in Northern California during the 1960s. The group is made of retired law enforcement and military members. They say the killer was Gary Francis Post, who lived and worked as a painter in Groveland, but died in 2018. The FBI says case is still open and they do not have any new information. At least 23 are dead this morning after a 5.9 magnitude earthquake struck southwestern Pakistan. Search and rescue efforts are ongoing as the number of injured continues to rise with at least 300 so far, according to the Provincial Disaster Management Authority. Seven children are among the dead. Two new studies suggest COVID-19 immunity from Pfizer's vaccine wanes after about two months. But the shot, though, continues to reduce the risk of hospitalization or death. The first study shows lowered immunity is worse in men, senior citizens, and people with immune system issues. The second study shows immunity was highest a month after the second dose, then gradually fades. President Biden and his Chinese counterpart, Xi Jinping, plan to meet virtually before the end of the year. Top diplomats reached the agreement during six hours of talks in Switzerland this morning. During that meeting, the U.S. raised concerns about Taiwan, Hong Kong, and human rights. China urged the U.S. to stop inter interfering in its internal affairs. Do me a favor, grab the umbrella as you head out the door this morning. We are tracking rain that is moving into town as we speak. Already a lot of this rain is here, especially as you work your way south of the Beltline. Verona, heavy rain moving through. Oregon, heavier rain moving through. Stoughton and McFarland, heavier rain is moving through. And all of this is pushing towards the Beltline as we speak. So if you're getting ready to head out the door, that's something to keep in mind. We have even more showers moving in from the south and east. And all of that's going to be working its way back towards the north and west as we go throughout today. But this is not the only soggy day I'm watching. We have more rain chances on the other side of the weekend. We're keeping an eye on that rain. We'll update you in half an hour right here on News 3 Now.